This is why your water bottle flip is more than just a party trick, a fleeting moment of fun, or a way to impress your friends. It's a demonstration of physics in action, a real-world example of scientific principles at play. There's real science behind that viral move. It's not just about luck or chance, it's about understanding the forces that govern motion and balance. We're talking about concepts like center of mass, angular momentum, and rotational inertia. Let's break it down. We'll dissect the flip, analyze the mechanics, and reveal the secrets behind this seemingly simple yet surprisingly complex phenomenon. First, grab a water bottle and fill it about one-third of the way. This is a crucial step, as the amount of water significantly impacts the flip's success. Too much or too little, and you're setting yourself up for failure. Here's the secret. As you flip, you're not just tossing the bottle into the air. You're initiating a complex series of movements that rely on the interplay between water, gravity, and rotation. The water sloshes up the sides, creating a dynamic shift in the bottle's internal weight distribution. This sloshing isn't random. It's a key component of the flip's success, pulling the bottle's center of mass closer to the middle. This shift in the center of mass is what allows the bottle to rotate in a controlled manner, increasing the chances of a successful landing. That's the key. When the mass shifts, the bottle's rotational properties change, influencing its trajectory and stability in mid-air. It changes how the bottle spins. The water acts as an internal brake, slowing down the rotation just enough to allow for a controlled descent. Think of it like a figure skater spreading their arms. They're manipulating their moment of inertia to control their spin, to slow a spin. The skater's arms, like the water in the bottle, redistribute mass to affect rotation. The bottle's rotation slows down, giving it a greater chance of aligning itself vertically before impact, making it easier to land upright. The reduced rotational speed allows gravity to gently guide the bottle to a stable, upright position. Too much water, or too little, disrupts this delicate balance. And the center of mass doesn't shift, so your flip-flops. Without the proper mass distribution, the bottle's rotation becomes becomes erratic and unpredictable. No mass shift, no landing. It's a simple equation. Controlled mass distribution equals controlled rotation, which equals a successful flip. The sweet spot, about one-third full, providing the ideal balance between mass and air, with a gentle but confident flip. The right amount of force combined with the correct water level is the recipe for bottle flipping success. Line up a few bottles. Experimentation is key to mastering the art of the flip. Empty to see how minimal mass affects the outcome. Half to observe the impact of increased mass, and mostly full and try it. Observe how the different water levels influence the bottle's rotation and landing. Only the one-third bottle will stick the landing, demonstrating the power of balanced physics almost every time. With practice and understanding, you can consistently defy gravity and impress your friends. Now it's your turn. Grab a bottle, put your newfound knowledge to the test, and become a bottle-flipping master. Prove it's not luck, it's science. Smash that subscribe button and join our community of curious minds.